Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Happy Mass Monday, ladies. Yep, it's Monday yet again, and a brand new slate at that. So today I will be trying this beautiful best friend snail and green tea mask that was sent to me and friend mail from Stephanie, the opinionated horsewoman. Wow, mouthful for a Monday morning. And so if you wanna see what this is like, and also I did receive a small uh, fall sale stuff from the Fat Fit Fun store. So I'll be unboxing this as well. So if you're interested in seeing what I received and how this mask works out, please stay tuned. Okay, welcome back my beautiful wildflowers. As I said, it is Monday and a brand new slate. And today is a special day and I usually do the gratitude cards on Mondays, but I thought I would just switch it up a little bit and, uh, you know, say something that um, I've heard many, many times, but, and I know you've probably heard many, many times, but I kind of turned it into a more of an affirmation, okay? And that saying to me is really important and I really realized the importance of it most recently when I, you know, moved downtown and I live downtown San Jose and there's unfortunately a lot of homeless and a lot of people here that need help and they don't have a home or anything like that. And, you know, I started thinking, I wonder what it's like to be them and what in life happened to them? Which turn did they make wrong that put them in a situation that they're in today? And so what my affirmation to you today is, and really think about this, all right? It doesn't have to be a homeless person. It could be somebody you know that's having difficulties and just really, really think. And I think the reason why I want to do this, no, I know why I want to do this is because I want to bring humanity in our week. And it's so important that we as humans hold on to that humanity because we tend to lose that, especially with all of the bad news and we become so immune to it that, you know, another shooting and another murder becomes like, well, okay, it's just a way of life. And it shouldn't be like that, guys. It really shouldn't. And it really hit home listening to, you know, some of my friends talk about that. And I'm thinking, but guys, that's not normal. That's not okay. And so the affirmation today for you is, I will walk a mile in someone else's shoes. I will walk a mile in someone else's shoes. And I know, you know, maybe you were having a hard time, but you know, first world problems and somebody said, you know what, walk, walk a mile in someone else's shoes and see what, it, what it's like. And it's true. And what that means, in case you don't know, walk a mile in someone else's shoes is put yourself in their shoes and their position and what's happening to them. And how would you feel at that point? And it's really, I mean, for me, it's personal because, you know, I get a lot of, you know, bad glances and, you know, the dirty looks throughout my day, you know, especially because I wear a headscarf and it, it feels bad. It really does. But then again, the good thing is more people actually smile back when I smile at them, right? And, but there are those people that you just can't break through. At least I can't break through. And, you know, I may smile at them. I may be somebody I see and often and I smile them at them and never really, you know, quit but yet they still shift their eyes down, pretend like they didn't see, right? And so I wonder if they walked a mile in my shoes, if they would still be the way they are. And maybe, maybe so, maybe they just don't care. Maybe they've lost the humanity that God has given us. And that is so, so important, guys. When you feel yourself hardened, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, success is the person who face troubles and hard time and hardships through their whole life and yet they don't allow themselves to become hardened you know that is a successful life guys at the end of the day you may you may die poor but did the world that treated you badly did it harden your heart no well guess what you won and that's, that's all there's to it. So, yeah. So I want you to think about that and really maybe pick somebody that you, you know, you see and, or you know, and try to walk 
a Mollinger's shoes, what it must be like. And um, I do this often, actually, you know, I always wonder, you know, what, what happened? And there are times I will ask, you know, what happened in your life that made you like this? And usually to people who are mean, usually I get back none of your business or something like that. But, you know, I, I do care and I want to know. So, yeah. Okay, so that's that. I hope that wasn't like a downer thing. Um, I want it to be a positive thing for the week, for something for you to do and really consider. And, you know, and being a good citizen, being a good human being and keeping your humanity, which isn't for anybody else but for yourself. Okay? Alrighty, so what am I going to do next? Uh, should I open the box first and put on a mask or no? Let's put on the mask and hope that this mask will kind of stay on my face because... I can't talk with the silicone mask right now because this hit, you know, this little headband. And this is Princess Poppy, or I think it might be Queen Poppy, I'm not sure, from Trolls. And so I haven't used it in a while because it is quite thick, but it's okay. So anyway, this face mask here was sent to me from Stephanie, opinionated horsewoman. I don't know why those that those words are so hard to get. <laughs> duh, duh. So yeah, so let me see what it says about it uh let's see it is but it is um k beauty and it says um rejuvenate reju rejuvenating <laughs> rejuvenating and firming mask and so i'm supposed to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and then of, of course remove and rub the rest of the essence on my face so let's see let's see let's see so the tearing part is on the bottom which is good because i i do want to keep this wrapper yeah, I'm sentimental like that. <laughs> and so I'll go ahead and dry it out and kind of make it nice. I should have got scissors to do this, but no, no. Oh, okay. It's not bad. It slides right off. Okay, goody. Okay. And, you know, um, it doesn't smell like it has any fragrance, but is it? And it doesn't have fragrance and no artificial fragrance or synthetic fragrance. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks, Stephanie. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. It is a bit juicy. Let me roll my sleeves up here a little bit. My sleeves are a little long. And um, yeah, today is raining all day, but it's like a trickle. And then this whole week, I was getting these emergency alerts that I get from the city and the state that say it's going to be severe weather. It's going to be such bad rain. And then we might be canceling flights. And I'm like, okay, uh, that's a little bit of an overreaction for what we got. But okay, <laughs> this Doppler radar shows this really bad storm coming and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, let's prepare. You know, I'm, I lived in Florida, okay, and went through several bad, bad hurricanes. And so when you give me an emergency, like and even at that, they don't really make it a big deal, right? Because it's a day-to-day -day thing. And when you make a big deal like this, I'm thinking, oh my God, it's going to be huge. <sniffs> yeah, okay, a little bit of wind, <laughs> a little bit of rain. And matter of fact, not enough rain to keep me home. Okay, let me just place this. Oh, this is actually really nice. It's like, um, it's not watery, which I like because that's probably the uh, snail mucin because this does have snail mucin and green tea. And green tea is really good because green tea is what has ECGC in it. Aside from drinking it, and which is really good for you, and actually it's good for weight loss, um, but it's good to constrict your uh, your vessels here so that way it decreases any kind of swelling. So, okay, that went on pretty good. I, I think this is going to stay on. Did I get my nose? Last time I noticed that I didn't get my nose. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is nice. And it fits really good. It goes underneath. Like, you know, you know me. I'm picky about that. It looks like the strip is uh, sufficient. And it does will cover to the side. Like I told you in the past, I do have a little bit of a wide face. So, yeah. And But the snow music makes it kind of like slick. So this is probably a mask that you should um, put on and uh, relax. Yeah, but I'll go ahead and open it. And, oh, another thing too. Uh, it's raining so bad that I got to go outside and get some milk tea. Actually, I did it. My husband did. Um, and um, he actually drove me out there. But, you know, he, he thinks I'm going to melt in rain. So, yeah. So milk tea. I don't know if you know what this is. This is a boba. It has a little honey boba back down here. And this flavor here is the Okinawan uh, brown sugar, natural brown sugar. And it's mixed in tea and it's called milk tea. Uh, people in California and people in popular cities probably know what this is. But some people may not because I have a friend from the um, the south, southeast, that didn't know what this was. And this is really good. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, enough of that. So guys, what did I get from FabFitFun? Well, not too much. Just the things that I really wanted and things that I purchased in the past and saw that they had a sale on it. And where's my cutter? Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and um, do the cutter. And of course, I forgot to set the timer, but that's okay. By the time I finish this, it'll be 10 minutes, maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. And uh, just, I think I got like four items and it's not much, but I remember everything except for one of them is one, something that I, um, I've had and I know about, okay? And it comes packaged nicely. And by the way, this box, I had to dry it. The male people, the DSL people, unfortunately left it in the rain outside, but it's dry, but everything's in plastic, so it's good. It comes packaged well like this. Okay, and my, yeah, my invoice. And so it's like that. And the first item I see here, and this is by Sterling Forever Shine Bright. And I typically don't buy jewelry from places like this, but this was something really cute and really affordable. And I think it was under like uh, $15 and I wanted it. And it is Sterling Silver, but guys be careful because the name of the company is Sterling Forever. So you would think everything would be Sterling Silver. It's not. It's might be silver color, gold color, but this specifically did call out that it is Sterling Silver. And it says Sterling Silver and uh brand lifetime guarantee so lead and nickel free and it is a earrings here and it is genuine little um like a mother pearl it's a teeny tiny thing here can you see it and uh the post is silver okay and i i do wear earrings and i have like three holes in one ear and two in the other because the third one closed up so, you know, I thought, no, I want, I want one so that way I can go ahead and switch it out. So that's that. And then the two of the things, I mean, Yolanda, if you're watching this, you're going to go, oh my gosh, okay. I don't know how much you love this, but sorry about that. This is slipping. I don't know how much you loved yours, but I loved mine so much and I'm wearing it out like crazy. And it's a sleepy night dress. And it's this here. It doesn't look like much in a bag, but this thing is so cute. It comes through like above the knees. And it's got a little ruffle on the bottom. And it is so comfortable. This fabric is just so, so very comfortable. And it's by um, Draper James. And it's a night shirt. I got two of them because I'm like, you know what? I got to get it. And guess what? These usually range about $49. And they were $15. So I got two. Because like I said, the one that I have that I got in my box, I don't wore it out. I mean, seriously, I wore it so often. I washed it so often. It's kind of like um, the colors kind of like starting to fade, but I'm like, yeah. And I've had that thing for about a year, I guess now. So yeah, here it is. I got two of those. And then I also got this Authentic Beauty Concept Dry Shampoo. You remember I told you I got the smaller size um, in one of the boxes and then I got a second one in another box and I told you it's really good and I really like it. I liked it enough to rebuy it. And I don't use a whole lot of dry shampoo because I do tend to wash my hair uh, when I need to when it gets oily, but sometimes I don't have time and I have to get on a Zoom call, right? And um, so, and they're all women, so I don't have to wear my hijab, my um, head scarf. So I try to keep my hair free as possible when I am um, just with in a company of women and I can guarantee that only women are going to be on a call. And so sometimes my hair will be kind of like stuck to my skull. I'm like, ah, okay, I, okay, what do I do? Do I cover my head today or do I just say, nope, I just spray it, shh, and I real fast. And these, um, of all of the, uh, the dry shampoos I've tried, this is one of the best. There's two that I like. The B Batiste is good, and so is this, but I prefer this one now. And um, because there's no fragrance in this, and Batiste tend to have like a very strong smell. That's the only thing. And so I do love it, and I bought that. And guess what? I got the last one because as soon as I put it in my basket, it's it out of stock. I'm like, ooh, lucky me. Okay, and then the last thing I got, I wanted to give it a try. And the reason why I want to try it is because it's by Ahava. And uh, it's a magnesium rich deodorant. It's a women's deodorant. It's all natural. It's like one of those rock salt things, I think. And it's a roll on, I think. And I like using natural deodorants if I can. And let's see, how does this work? Uh, yeah, it, it is. A, it's a huge ball like this. 
And so right now I'm using one of those, I don't know if you've seen those natural rock salt thingies. It's a solid rock and it's salt. And But I figure, you know what? I like this because when I travel, that doesn't travel very well because it is, you know, it gets wet and it's salt, right? And so I said, you know what? I'm going to get one of these and give it a try because I do love Ahava. And Ahava products are made in Israel. I think this is this one is also and so i do have um i use the hand cream a lot and i remember from um, jen button sending me a bunch of them and like half of it is already gone because i do use it a lot and it works and the thing is their products are made of i think it's called dead sea right dead sea salt yeah and so it's really nice so yeah that's that okay my beautiful wildflowers um give me a moment and I think that's it. Tell me what you thought about it. And um, Yolanda, if you're out there watching, I know you got this. Tell me your thoughts on this, what you thought about it, okay? So, yeah. All righty. So, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my milk tea. And I will be back after I take this off and tell you what I think about it. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, my beautiful wildflowers. So, what did I think about that mask? It's actually very nice, and I love snail jelly, which is snail mucin anyway, and I do prefer any mask with that. And the reason why I like it is because it feels really moisturized, but at the same time, it tightens my face with the green tea in this one, right? So the combination of snail mucin and green tea, I think is excellent. That's a, a good combination. And the fact that this one did not have um, synthetic fragrance is extreme plus for me, and you guys know that, right? And also, um, not the fault of the mask, it was sliding down and I fought with it a little bit, but you know, these masks, Masks are meant to be put on your face and record a video or start talking to somebody, right? And so I think if I would have put the silicone mask on top, that would have really helped. Um, but it's really difficult with what I'm wearing, so I decided not to. But no fault of the mask. I think the mask was shaped really nice. It was cut in a in a nice way. It had a long enough strip across the lip, which is important to me. And the fact that it covers below my neck right here and not end right here, right? Because I like to get it up until about there. And also it didn't dry out, which is nice. Uh, not overly juicy, which is also very nice because I don't like products that are way overly juicy where it, I've had masks where it was dripping on my shirt and I don't like that. And also I, I noticed after I tapped it in that it actually made my face feel a little bit tighter tighter not in the dry way but tighter in a more firming way and so I don't know if you noticed that but it's really um it's helped tighten my skin a little bit and of course all of these you know um things that happen to your skin after you do a treatment are temporary and I don't want people to think you can buy skincare products and it's going to permanently tighten your face or remove the appearance of wrinkles because it doesn't do that and some of the things do it better than others but masks are not designed for that so don't expect that but what it I did expect it to do it did do and the tightness comes from um the green tea the ECGC that is in the green tea and I do like the moisture that's uh, provided by the snail mucin and I really like that because I want my skin to feel firm but not dry and that's the key here guys and especially if I were to put on makeup after this which I will because I have to do some things today um, it allows me to put on makeup smoothly with a smoother canvas and I, I like a mask like that so two thumbs up under mask very good mask um if i were to change anything about the mask um uh, i don't know uh, not a whole lot not a whole lot uh maybe a little bit wider but then again it, they're not making masks just for me you, you know people have the tendency of having like you know longer face and a wider like me so yeah it is what it is right so but yeah that's it so let me know what you think and if you've ever used this mask before, and I really do like it. And again, thank you so much, Stephanie, for sending it to me because it was a good mask. And I would tell you if it wasn't so you don't blow your money on something that's not worth anything, okay? Alrighty then, my beautiful wildflowers. If I added any value, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this type of video, please do hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and then select all so you know every time I upload a brand new video. 
Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. It's a brand new, a brand new, brand new. It's a brand new start of the week, guys. And so I want you to enjoy it and think everything positive as much as possible. And don't forget to walk in someone else's shoes this week, okay? Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. I want you to have a good day, a good night, a good week, or a good weekend. Whenever you're watching this, it does not matter. But what does matter, though, is you remember. In a field of roses, be a wildflower and never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.